I recently rewatched one of my um, guilty pleasures, The Beatniks. It's made in 1958. I think it was released in 1960. And um, it's badly mistitled. There are no Beatniks in The Beatniks. Um, <clears throat> nobody wears a goatee. Nobody wears a beret. Nobody, um, you know, there's no no goatees, no berets, no poetry, no coffee shops, no illusion, no uh, references to marijuana, no bungos, uh, you know, Maynard G. Krebs from um, Doby Gillis, you know, was nowhere to be found. And nobody from Jack Car Kerouac or um, Allen Ginsberg, uh, nothing like that. The, um, the title is a, is a mystery, and I don't know what the answer to it is, because it's about a robbery gang. And um, I kind of think that maybe it was mistitled because either somebody didn't know what a beatnik actually was, or they were just trying to cash in on the interest in beatniks and in youth rebellion, okay? Um, because in the advertising for the film, um, in the trailer, it talks about... Uh, Today's youth uh, living by their code of rebellion and mutiny and waging a battle for the right to be heard. Um, they have no politics. The characters they focus on have no politics. They're a robbery gang. And they're not striking out against the establishment. The robbery that we see is that of a humble mom and pop store. Um, you know, you see behind the counter an elderly man and woman who obviously work very hard for their money and then they lo lose um i think it was four or five hundred dollars that they worked hard for so um you know it's kind of a na pretty nasty robbery gang that's very small fry okay but anyway the story it tells is interesting okay it is interesting because um in a kind of magical hollywood fashion um the Out of the Robbery Gang, uh, played by an actual singer, Tony Travis, uh, sings, uh, is overheard by a talent scout and whisked away to Hollywood um, for fame and glory as, a, as the next Frank Sinatra or Elvis Presley or whatever. And um, uh, one of the interesting things about the film <clears throat> is that most of the passion is not from the official love triangle where um, Tony Travis's character is torn between the uh, his gang land, uh, his gang mole um, who drives the getaway cars, Iris, and a um, secretary at the um, uh, music uh, music um, recording place uh, named Helen. The um, Real passion is that between um, one of the gang gang men, uh, a guy named Mooney, played by Peter Brack, who was known for Shock Corridor and The Big Valley. And he obviously, that character has a really strong gay crush on Leader Eddie. Okay. And all the passion is really between from Mooney to Eddie. Um and he doesn't quite re return uh, return it, but the uh, it's very obvious. And I think that was a very brave thing to do in that in that time period to put a gay element in there. It took some courage on the part of uh, director writer Paul Fries, who <clears throat> was basically known as a voice actor. Anyway, it is an interesting movie, and in one part, it's kind of unintentionally funny when uh, Mooney wants to. Uh, threaten someone he says i'm gonna moon you um i guess it's a real threat when you threaten to uh expose your butt but anyway i uh, hope you like hearing that bye